In today's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the hard disk drive of this all-in-one Dell Inspiron 12320 to this SSD. Coming up, roll the intro. Hey name tags, welcome. This is Ash from Hilmai Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. On this channel, we do repairs, reviews, and tutorials of tech, including sharing entrepreneur tips and strategies to help you unleash your true potential. In the description below, you will find timestamps for your convenience if you want to skip ahead to specific parts of the video, but I would be grateful if you watched the whole video at least the first time. So the client tells me that this all-in-one computer has gone really slow and they believe the hard disk drive is on the way out also showing some errors every now and then, a lot of messages coming up. I have booted up into Windows 10 Home and it does appear that the hard disk is really slow. Now, this is a great upgrade to do is to get rid of the hard disk drive and upgrade to an SSD. The SSD we're using today is the SanDisk SSD Plus, 240 gigabyte. It currently retails for about 65 pounds on Amazon. I do have an affiliate link below. This video is not sponsored, but I would appreciate if you use my affiliate link if you want to purchase this or anything else. So to remove this uh, back cover, it's really easy. We've put it flat on the screen at the moment. A couple of precautions first, always make sure you know what you're doing. If you're in doubt, please consult a professional because there's always a risk of damage to the device and to yourself. Consider getting uh, a anti-static free surface to work on. Also, you should try and wear an anti-static wrist bracelet or you can make sure you discharge your static electricity every now and then, but be very careful. Now, any appliance you work on, always unplug the thing and switch off from the mains. So the back cover comes off very easily on this one. There are instruction manuals online for this model. You're gonna need a small screwdriver this is a Philips one, nothing too fancy. And there are one, two, three, four, five, and uh, six screws to remove and quite easily done. Once removed, you can just pop the back cover off very carefully. It kind of snap off, but be very careful, don't apply too much force. Okay, so all in ones are nothing but laptop components attached at the back of the screen. And we've got the disk drive here. This is the DVD. And on this end, you have the RAM underneath this. And you've got the uh, CPU cooler and fan here. So if you did want to upgrade the RAM, I'm gonna show you quickly, just pop this cover off. And you've got two RAM sticks in there, currently two three gigabyte DDR3 1333 megahertz RAM. So you could always upgrade. You need to find out what the maximum specs for this is. You may need to, you know, pull out both RAM sticks to be able to get eight gigabyte or more. I'm not sure if it does do more, but that's very easily done. All right, so before you work on anything, um, press and hold the power button for at least 30 seconds to discharge any potential static electricity and while I'm doing this so this screw here we need to take off is holding the hard drive uh, disk and uh, at the back there are the SATA connectors so when you do pull it be careful again another screwdriver nothing fancy just put that away this pulls out and you can lift off but be careful because you're gonna have to remove the SATA connectors here okay and just pull that off and they're just normal SATA connectors and here's your hard disk drive okay and the hard disk drive was also secured by one two three and four screws and I've already removed a few of them I'm just gonna remove this last one here so nothing fancy and Bob's your uncle right now a couple of things number one I was actually surprised this had a normal 7200 rpm hard disk drive 3.5 mil I thought it had a laptop hard drive in here but that's one issue the second issue is that this caddy right isn't really fit to get this SSD installed properly because there's no holes and it's gonna have to go in this way. As you can see, in this way here, 
to connect the cables because the cables they don't really bend properly i mean you could try and get yourself extensions to that but i've got another idea today you can always uh, try to chase up an adapter from 3.5 to 2.5 it's going to cost you a bit of penny i'll put a link if i can find one we're going to save the client some money today what i'm going to use is the good old zip tie i'm just going to you know tie it around us i'll show you later so it shouldn't be a problem there's a lot of options you could always use maybe some glued on velcro or blue tag or whatever the heck you want to, to secure it so before i'm actually going to put everything back i am going to just casually plug this in and we're going to install a fresh copy of windows on there because this is digitally signed already you're not going to need any new license okay now at this point obviously you should have backed up your data if there was any on there but if not you can still do that get this out stick it in a different system try to retrieve data if you can you can also use linux there are also recovery software and uh, but there's other ways and we'll cover this at a different stage i'm not too worried this is quite light i'm not going to secure it and i'm quite confident but what we are going to do is push that up so we're going to stand it upright okay and we are going to install a windows 10 home premium sorry home edition now for this you're going to need a usb installation disk and i've done a video on how to get yourself a windows 10 installation disk fairly easy so check the link above i don't think i need to show you how to install windows but just going to stick that in select the boot to the right disk and then go through installation process okay so i've just tested uh, the windows 10 fresh installation and the updates is done everything is working fine so now we're gonna take this hard disk and put it in the caddy with a bit of diy with the help of my zip ties <clears throat> so all i've done is i've just put a couple of zip ties right and we're gonna attach it to the top not to the bottom and uh, it's gonna go in this way with the set of ports facing this way right it doesn't really matter because this is not a laptop it's a you know kind of a desktop so it's just gonna go and sit on a table somewhere and it shouldn't really move so all I need to do is to filter this through and fasten both sides probably will put a third one maybe I have to make sure that I can actually clip on the SATA ports because if it doesn't work that should be fine and push it in so that should be fine that should be quite secure not a problem so we'll get cracking with that all right just cut the excess bits and uh, it in okay i'm just gonna put the one screw for the drive caddy and before i put the back cover on i'm gonna want to just test this if everything is working and that's it that's the end of today's video couple of final notes before the outro this video was not sponsored you will find show notes and links to everything i've talked about in the description below and in the cards above any affiliate link to sites like Amazon or eBay is clearly identified and if you click them and follow through with the purchase, it will not cost you anything extra and you will help the channel with a small kickback, so it's a win-win for everyone. One more thing, if you want to ask a question, please be as specific as possible, including all the relevant details. You can check out this video which I did called The Art of Asking the Wrong Question, where I address this very common problem so we can help each other out without getting frustrated and wasting time. That's it for today folks, like, dislike, share this vid and comment below. And if you found the content helpful, consider subscribing to help the channel and keep you notified of future videos. Once again, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for watching. This was Ash from Hill My Tech helping you go from newbie to techie. Until next time, peace out.